Right, here we are at the Island Lake. Um, desperately trying to <laughs> quickly film in between the planes. It's six o'clock at night and I got here at six o'clock this morning and I have literally just got my rods out. I've only just taken them out of the rod bag. I spent, well, 11 hours looking and I saw nothing for about the first nine and then I see a few little ones out here, proper little ones. The half of the lake shut for spawning again. Uh, hopefully it'll be open pretty soon. Um, I was hoping it might open today. I'm now hoping it might open. Now hoping it might open tomorrow, but we'll see. I don't know how these things go. But anyway, I'm in the swim. I've got all three rods out, and that's your allotment between planes. Right, he's nearly gone. Uh, as you can see, it's all a bit of a bomb so <laughs> I said, I've just <coughs> just got the rods out and now I've got to do everything else. Am I confident? Nah, not really. I am the only one on the lake, which is very nice. And like I say, I haven't seen an awful lot. I think now, I haven't looked up the other end where well, you're not allowed to fish at the moment because that would just be torture, wouldn't it? So basically I'm here on the end of this island and this is Vipers and this is the den um, and from there onwards up both sides of the lake all around the car park and everywhere else snags the lot is shut and wow there's no prizes for guessing where the car park but they were out here um, this now this is Monday uh, and at the weekend there was some caught out here and Last week I ended up seeing quite a lot right up that far end. But I haven't seen any up there today. I've sat up, I've sat in the swim over there for an hour, I've sat in the swim over there for an hour, I've sat in here for an hour. I just kept going round and round. I've checked all the snags. <coughs> I've done my work, done my own work, but haven't been rewarded. The ones I've seen here were very small. So I've got one rod on where I saw the small ones and two rods on a favourite little spot of mine. So we shall see. See what happens. I've eaten nothing, drunk nothing, had three cups of tea all day. I'm starving and very, very thirsty. Oh. I was just going to have the bed chair out, but it looks a bit moody. Forecast says no rain, but then it's rained three times already today. Oh, and I've fallen in, which will come as no great surprise. I was out in the boat with all the gear in there, uncovered, and it started pouring with rain, so I docked it in under a tree on the end of an island, and it, the motor ground, the engine grounded out, and there was a scaffold pole there, so I stepped out the boat onto the scaffold pole, the scaffold pole snapped and I fell in the lake. <laughs> So the gear in the boat got wet in the rain. I got absolutely drenched. And I'm now on my second set of clothes. And that was all before I'd even cast out. But like I say, no great surprises. I fall in a lot. Well, it's looking nice now. Looking nice before, but it's looking even better now because it's that time. Look at that. Look at this fella. Right, this is what you call a pork chop. <laughs> That's a proper bad boy, isn't it? He's a monster plate filler. And they're all blue cheese and garlic mushroom. Yum. Bloody yum. Right, right, on the move again. Just been and retrieved my markers from out there. Just wasted an hour finding two lovely spots and then decided I didn't fancy them after all. Everything's all on the boat, loaded up. And we're going back sort of the way we came. I know what's going to happen. I spend all day doing this and end up in the swim of left this morning. That's 
the swim are nearly fished. Or the gap, I think it is. Because of this, which is the gap. I've got to try and get through this little channel without getting my prodder or my rods or my canes tangled up in the overhangs. through the Dingley Dell. Duck, whoa, still. <sighs> Look at that. Hey, what a driver. And then back out this side, again. So I've just had to evict Mr. and Mrs. Swan and little baby, unfortunately. Because they were, as you can see by the poo and the feathers, sort of having a little rest here. But I want to have a little rest here. Because last night, I see quite a lot of fish in this area to the right. Which I'd normally fish from the next swim down, but that's closed um, at the moment. Let's just zoom somewhere so you can see a bit better. There we go. Um, yeah, out there. I'd normally fish it at long range from next door, but it's closed at the moment. Um, so I'm going to fish this swim, which is the next one along in a narrow, much narrower channel. And see if they're up there as well. You can't quite see around the corner from where I was, but if there's a load just there, then there's also going to be some just here, isn't there? Prime conditions, big southwesterly blowing right up the lake. They, they like bottling up here. So, let's see what we can make of this, because the other thing was a bit of a washout. But never mind. Onwards and upwards. And one's just jumped as I put my phone away. Right there, off the end of that tree, just there. A few yards away. Didn't see it, just heard it. Can still just about see the bit of froth. I think I'm going to set my house up and get everything ready and tidy. All of this just been thrown in. And watch for a while. I don't know 100% where one rod's going. I think I'm just going to keep an eye on it. If it's going to be showing a couple of rod limps out, then happy days. <laughs> that would be nice. Chuck's about with a marker as well because it's very weedy the lake at the moment. Right, let's get this lot out of there, up here. It's a tiny little swim and it's on an island all on its own. As in it's the only swim on the island. It's very, very remote. Um, but yeah, quite looking forward to it. Let's get doing. morning all. It's been a slightly different morning. A bit drismal. Nice and cool. Perfect for a little lay-in. Which is exactly what I've done. So, Swanshire Island. How did I fare? I've actually caught some fish. I know, I know. But I have. I've had two. I've had a sort of low 20 mirror. Which came at an awkward time and I didn't get any footage of it. And um, I was had a little lay in this morning, which is unusual for me. And was woken up by a low 20 common, which is in the net. 
down there and just about to come up here to say hello. Oh, that's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. A bit heavier than I thought it was. Mr. Common, very, very welcome. Proper dense little chunky chap he is. Hello, mate. Not a lot of room in this swim for doing <laughs> photography or anything, really, to be honest. Unless you're a swan. I also heard quite a lot of fish last night. Not quite here where I am, exactly where I've been seeing them the night before. So, well, I should be going home today. I'm considering doing another night and moving. Although, yeah, I know, I caught two and now I'm moving. But only one swim, well, stroke one island to my right. So I can fish the same area that I've caught from and fish for where I'd sim fish. Well, I was planning on a move. I decided to stay. But now we've got this. I'm not moving in the rain. It's just silly. So it's down to breakfast instead. Big old fry up into me. I'll be sorted for the day. Still not unbelievable conditions to get a bite in the day. It's weird how the, certain swims do day bites, certain swims don't. I've never had a day bite on the sort of feature that I'm fishing at the moment. It was a first, isn't there? Well. Time for your daily maths lesson. Three minus one equals one. Well, three, really. <laughs> Fish number three in the net. Very pretty one. I'd say probably the biggest one so far. Still not monster, but a bloody lovely carp. Shall we unwrap him, see what we got? I just finished breakfast. Just made a cup of tea with my last, last cup full of water. Halfway through it, got a beep and looked up and the tip was wrapping around and then away it went. I'd just been sat here with the bins in between breakfast, in between bites. It went calm out there and I could see some fizzing and I got the binoculars on it and was watching and I thought that's got to be bang on top of my bait and then bingo it was mm -hmm. let's have a look I'm going to weigh this one and everything um, I'm not sure if it is the biggest one actually it's 22 pounds it's just a lot leaner than I thought I think the column was a bit heavier than this one but weight doesn't really matter does it it looks like this. Wow. Look at him. <laughs> oh. Hey, he's a corker, isn't he? What a car. Right 
it's all very tight in this room. <laughs> just out of shot, there's just all my junk everywhere because there's nowhere for it to go. And it's just a case of sitting here or standing down the front and look out that way. Oh, look out that way. That's cool. The drought is over. need now hippopotocarp. That's what we want. It's a robin sat on top of you lot. <laughs> Little baby one, all fluffy. Literally sat right on top of the camera. Oh. There he is, look. <laughs> That's rough and cold. Bum, 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 bum. You just can't lose anything when a swim is this, when you can. I lost my spoon for a day, and when I got to bed last night, I stabbed it with my toe, it was in the bottom of the sleeping bag. Um, but nothing's going very far in here. Morning. You know the school? A little bit early for school, I'll admit, at half past four in the morning, but three minus one plus boat equals carp. We got one. I was beginning to think it weren't going to happen, I really was. Although it's only half four in the morning. Um, I thought I might get one in the evening, I didn't hear any. It was nightfall, I heard loads further up to my right, I didn't hear anything, not a fish. But well, they're gone. And then, off he went. He got solid in the weed, that's why the boat's out. Straight away, solid. And I had to go out there and oh, break apart a huge weed bed that I got to the surface, and then he was off. It fought like a tiger, mental. Oh, wow, I just heard one down there. I haven't heard any down there. Well, look at that down in there. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it felt like mental. And uh, when it came up and rolled on the surface, I see a big fully scaled side. <laughs> and one of the ones I want in here is the big fully. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's you. It went back down and I didn't, I'd only got a glimpse and I didn't get to see it again for ages and then it came up and rolled again and it had a lump on one side and I thought, oh, you're not supposed to have that. That's obviously not the one. Um, but he, again, he fought for ages. I got him in the net, got him in the boat, got him back here. He didn't, I thought mid-30. I don't know, I'd only just woken up in my own defence. He's 27-something. Um, but still better one big scaly thing and uh, we we'll drag him up for a look in a sec I've just got to have a fag and a cup of tea because literally the bite woke me up mm. oh, here we go See. You can see that all right, there's a light patch at the back behind that tree, it's not helping filming, is it? I really haven't got any option in this swim of where to set up. There we have. 
a bit, a bit low there, aren't I? There. Nice wake up call. Lovely job. I think that's it for this session. I don't think there's any more coming. No, no signs whatsoever. I've done well to bag that one this morning. I think the fish are all buggered off. I'm going to do the same. Chuck it all in the boat and bugger off home. The joy of it two to two and a half hour M25 extravaganza and then I'll be back in Suffolk quick shower sit in front of the camera do some filming all I, all I really want to do oh, is go to bed that ain't happening right Chaps and chapesses, I'm off. Dead up. Well, what a beautiful morning. And as you can tell, I'm at the lake. Everything is good. Got here last night, just, well, late afternoon. Time I'd boated about and done this that, and the other, I got set up. It was dark. I actually put my chicken on the barbecue and I'd finish. Oh, excuse me, it's very early. Put my chicken on the barbecue and ended up it was ready at midnight. <laughs> and it's now only about five. And guess what? Time to go to school. Three minus one equals carp. Straight in this week. I see a couple of fish in a swim called the plateau. Um, hardly ever fish it. Didn't get fish very much actually. Um, oh, the engine's turned itself on. I've just noticed. Deal with that. Um, yeah, so a couple of fish close in down here yesterday afternoon. But it's a solid weed close in. There's so much floating weed, it's unbelievable. I actually had that fish further out. So, right, let's get the rod back out, fish out, cup of tea, you know. It's all happened a bit quick this morning. like that all day long, eh? Frame, I? But not quite. <laughs> oh, just heard one jump out there. 
Nice. Right. Let's pop in back here. Oh. Well. We've got a fish on the bank, well, back in the pond, but we've had a fish on the bank. Rod's back out, and I haven't even had a cup of tea, not a single cup of tea. I've got the scales out and forgot to weigh him. I've got the GoPro ready to go on my head to film the fight, I forgot to put it on. Not only forgot to turn it on, forgot to actually put it on my head. But that's what happens when you get bites that wake you up. You don't know what the bloody hell's going on for a little while. But we landed him. Oh. Tea, that's what I need. Tea. Man cannot function without caffeine. do anything without a cup of tea and a fag. I've had a fag. I've got indigestion from bloody eating barbecued chicken and um, what was I dipping it in? I've got a new dip that's amazing. But my brain is not functioning yet. Red pesto aioli. They like garlic and red pesto dip. Co-op do it. It is unbelievable. It's the new thing in my head, in my stomach. But when you eat at midnight, Go to sleep at ten past, and leap out of bed at something to five. Indigestion does come knocking. Bizarrely enough, I'm already planning a move, um, <laughs> but not far. I'm going to move up either one or two swims. I had the fish on my right hand rod and I've seen quite a few fish already this morning closer in round here and I could fish that same spot from round here maybe there's only three swims here maybe the other I mean the left hand one maybe the right hand one might be the one and I could also fish that closer area so I'm asking more than one question at the moment I've got more on a line. I wanted to fish down here where I saw fish when I got here yesterday. But it was so weedy I didn't achieve it, I didn't have time. But I'm gonna have a little explore further along close in. It's definitely a head of fish close in down there somewhere. But for now we've got one. Unspecified weight, but lovely little fish. 22, 23, something like that. Good start on your first morning, anyway. Normally, I'm sat here at this time of the morning <coughs> thinking, Where are they? Or where have I got to move to? But I know if I'm moving, I ain't moving far. Two jump while I was out there. Um, dropping that rig, like out there where I'm fishing. <coughs> so they're about. Yeah. Quite the sky's beautiful, isn't it? Where's my phone? Take a picture of that. Where's anything, to be honest? Yeah, proper bomb site. There we go. Do you want to have a look? I'll try and show you. Phones always compensate so much better, don't they? Um, for weird light than very expensive cameras. 
which is always a bit upsetting really for me. Right, look at that, it doesn't look like anything, but I'm sure we can show you the reality. We're spinning this here button. Well, maybe not, actually. That's as much as I've got. Bit less ISO. They're all in it. Hmm. About as good as it'll do. Pretty, don't it? The old classic boiling kettle shot. Right, so I remembered the GoPro this time. That same rod, I'm definitely moving. I've just been pacing up and down the bank trying to figure out the best angle. And uh, yeah, that's when there. The jetty sticking out is definitely the one. All the fish I've seen have been from this rod. Right. I haven't seen anything out here where these other two rods are. There's so much weed, it's, it's, you might as well just come straight out in the boat rather than get in trouble with it. There's also about here, a massive, they call it a plateau, but it isn't, it's a sunken barge with about a 10 ton concrete slab on top of it, which is more than a little sharp. <laughs> so you wanna be behind that. Here it comes, oh, oh hello. Oh, you're a nice one. You were nearly done then, I didn't have the net ready. Might get a quick stab at this one before he realises what's happening. Got him. Nice. That was easy. Bloody easy. Oh, he's a good one, eh? Ha ha ha! There he goes. Oh, things are going very well this week and last week. We've turned the corner, people. Let's turn the corner. Bring Frank the Blank to haul in Harry. Another little tip if you go boat fishing to land them, always bring a net, a mat. Because dragging them along beside the boat, the boat goes all over the place, the fish don't like it. Water goes the wrong way in their gills. You should never drag them backwards. And any bullshit someone might tell you about having a short landing net handle for boat fishing, is exactly that. 
Bullshit. Fuck it now. Gosh, I nuked it there. <laughs> I ain't gone for off. Look at him. He's a bigger boy, isn't he? He's a big boy. Not a bit closer. Not too close for the vid, but a bit closer for the photos. Oh, when carp fishing goes well, it goes well, doesn't it? When it's shit, it's shit. Well, it's not, it's never shit, but... It can be frustrating, and then other times... ta -da! First morning, two carp on the bank. And then I'm gonna move. Ah, but like I said before, not very far. Whew. Right, just weighed him in, 33 pounds. Bloody lovely. Firing back, get that rod out there, take it back to a different swim. Get the other two in as well first, I suppose. Yeah. Well, we've moved. So well, quite bright out there. We're now in a swim called Alders. There's three on this side of the island. I started off in the left-hand one, and now I'm in the right-hand one, which is where I see most of the fish, really. Oh, and I've completely done my back in. I can hardly walk. I don't know quite how I've done that. Whoa, that's bright. It's the best I can do. So we've got two rods out, that'll do for now. This time two minus one doesn't equal carp, although we've had two, so... <coughs> Maths gets complicated, more like algebra, isn't it? I think bite time's probably slipping away. Well, I did get that out here pretty rapid after putting that fish back. Oh, I'm in absolute agony with my back. Still managed to lift a 40 pounder though. I think I might have 
cup of tea and a couple of painkillers. Oh, look, there's one. Right there, close him. Sort of on top of that line, isn't it? Close. Yeah, I think rather than have the third one right out there with the other two, I'm going to try and find something close in, because I've seen a lot of fish in this swim close in. If I could find a little mark and get a goodly amount of bait out there. I, mean, I could just throw a chod out there for now, couldn't I? Chod. Listen to me. Chods. What do I know about bloody chods? I might do it though. I do have one somewhere in the bottom of my tackle box. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Be a laugh, on it? So, when you're nice and comfortable, and you sort of, is it wrong to be looking forward to some painkillers? I don't usually take tablets, um, apart from when I get really bad acid. So, um, yeah, I thought a couple of painkillers would sort me right out. So I went into my smoking pouch, where I knew they were, and got them out, and they are indeed some form of antacids <laughs> ain't gonna help is it I haven't got acid ingestion I've got bad back buggeration oh well right <clears throat> read on the rods I've been to bosses I've been to co-op I forgot the bloody painkillers so I went to bosses on the way back but whilst in the co-op, I have got a proper little treat. Um, it's going to be like being at Wimbledon for the day, <laughs> just without the tennis. I have cold cider instead of champagne, obviously. And my new little beer cooler. I now have British strawberries and double cream. Hey, how posh is Laney? I mean, that, that really is living like kings, isn't it? Strawberries and cream. And the thing is, I've got to whip the cream so that it gets nice and thick because I don't like it runny. And I don't know how I'm going to, well, actually, I do know how. I'm going to tip half of it in the drink so that there's room to whisk it because I'm never going to drink all of that, eat all of that. Oops, there's my microphone. Have you ever wished the cream to make it thick? It takes forever and then suddenly it just goes. It's a lot easier with an electric whisk at home, I can tell you. But hand whisking, it's like nothing happens, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then bush, you got thick cream. Probably take about four planes worth, I reckon. Maybe five. Oh, and since I've been back, which is about 15 minutes, I've seen three fish. Um, nowhere near where I'm fishing. All 
25 yards out in that solid, solid, solid weed. And they don't look like big ones. Um, so they just go over, splash, I haven't actually seen them. If I see one and it's a, like eyeball it and it's a decent one, then I'm gonna have to start trying to think of something to do. <coughs> I don't know quite how to approach it. 15 foot of water, 11 foot of weed, everywhere. Until you get out at the range, or out, well, out towards where I am. So, big zig in there, but then you've got to be playing them in that jungle with a small look and a zig line. Oh, come on. She's getting really boring and cream is going everywhere. Could do something with my spod reel, couldn't I? I don't know quite what, but I'm sure I could couple something together. Spilt cream. How many planes is that? Because it ain't getting a lot thicker yet. Can you even do it with a fork? I'm sure, I've done it before. I mean, Nan used to, she didn't have a bloody electric anything. She did have a whisk and a big bowl. You can't really beat any air into it without it just going everywhere. She bought a can of squirty cream, didn't I really, but that's horrible, it's just all sugar in it. Oh, the outboard. <laughs> I could stick it in a bait bucket and stick the propeller in there, that would get it whisked up. Naggers. Come on, cream. Stop. How long does it take to whisk double cream with a fork? About as long as it takes for my phone to open one simple question. Oh yeah, how to whisk cream without a whisk, kitchen hacker. Something went wrong. Fuck the phone, fuck the cream, I reckon. Yeah, fuck it. Dip them in the runny cream. Right, where were we? Poor man's Wimbledon. I really wanted thick cream. Don't even like runny cream. Got it now. Not so. Nice, but not so. We go the best. We've got it all going on now. We've got sounds, we've got barbecue, we've got cold cider, we've got fish in the swim. Life is good. Only two people on the whole lake, me and one other. Happy days. <laughs> Fully expectant of a bite in the morning, or maybe even before. Be nice. Got the Scott coming up, the cameraman from Solar tomorrow. Got a boat over again about ten o'clock. 
between now and then, free agent. Island to myself. I think of a lot worse places to be. Right, I think that's my lot. Knackered. Oh, my back's feeling a bit better, which is handy. I need some sleep. Not far off dark. It's rush hour in the sky, so like just non stop. I am so sick of planes. I am so, so sick of planes. One day I'll find somewhere peaceful to fish. Maybe. Right, that's my lot. I'll see you in the morning. Listen to that. on there <laughs> that's a big float on it how about that for a waggler 
Oh, he's come off of it. I'm never going to find that spot again, am I? You must have gone under the cane onto the bit of cord below it, which is very rare. But he did. That means I'm going to have to prod to re-find the spot, which is probably means this rod won't be getting another bite. But, uh, let's worry about getting this one in first, eh? There he is. Not yet, Laney, not yet. Yeah, a bad one. You can see the old demo lump on his side. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's quite a big one. I'm glad to hear he is a big one. Oh, he's a bit of a monster. Look at him, great big fat one. Home James. Shame that wiped out that cane. That's a pain in the ass that. Never mind. We got one. Right then. Let's get this show on the road, gentlemen and ladies, maybe, hopefully, mixed audience, somebody's poor wife will be forced into watching this on the front room TV, probably, <laughs> I feel for you, whoever you may be, but we have got a great big fat Miracle to show you. Huge great fat Miracle. 
camera needs to be a little bit zoomed in just a little bit so. mm. it's a big fat simo gonna fit in there yeah probably and in there that one's pissed not me him right Come on, Mr. Simo. Let's. Ooh. Be having you. Yeah, big bugger. Are we ready? Microphone working, camera working. Hey. Eh? It's almost like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't ever believe that for a minute. Don't be like that, please. Oh. How about him then? He's a lump. <laughs> He's got a lump on this side. I found out the other day talking to Mozza, who um, works for Simo, that all of those, people call them pop ribs, but they're actually, um, sorry, I've got to keep smiling at the camera. <laughs> they're actually uh, swim bladder deformities. It's something to do with the breed. But they're all on the same side. They're only ever on the right hand side of the fish. Which I didn't know. See, you learn something every day. go that's him that's his lot back he goes oh my old silla oh foot, foot's come off I hope not shoes come off though Back he jolly well goes. See that a fatty? Cool, he looks all the 40 pound in the water, I can tell you. You wouldn't make a mistake with him. Well, unfortunately, I haven't got any mushrooms with me. Otherwise, I'd definitely be having mushrooms. I have got sausages, bacon and eggs and it is cooking out there now cooking out there cooking down here yum yum a few bobs worth in that trailer aren't they? <laughs> yeah, just a bit that's got a hole in the bottom, you know that <laughs> so, no rods out at all in my swim at the moment I ain't even got any. We're busy filming over the back there. Working I am, I tell you. <laughs> I know, I know. There's no need to say it. I know what you're going to say. No need to comment. But it's what I do. And I'm over there doing it. Let's come back to roll the fag. <clears throat> and then we'll wander back and carry on. But I am looking forward to getting the rods out. It's getting towards tea time. I've done everything else that I need to do. I've been out there, I've baited up. I've checked around my markers to make sure me I'm dropping in the right spots. And uh, yeah, all ready to rock and roll. Just need some rods. So I'm actually doing some work today, well sort of, 
I'm just the, the one that sits in front of this. I thought my camera was getting very flash. Look at this bloody lot, eh? Oh my God. And he actually knows what he's doing, unlike me. I'm filming this on my phone. <laughs> so, how this comes into effect is this arm there's a screw here, you can lock it off. So you've got a lot of tension there on this little titanium arm. This is the short version. They actually come in two different lengths, the short one and the longer one. I like this little short one. So I clip that on there. Now, what I've got is I've got the best of both worlds. I can still lock this off for snag fishing. If I get a forward bite, there's enough movement there that I get a bite. Obviously I've set these on sensitive, but if I get a drop back, I've got it poking both ways. So now I've got an indicator that I can, let's turn that off, that I can lock up nice and tight. Still goes both ways. It's absolutely perfect. Haven't got a fish a slack a line so that I've got a little bit of give. Can fish as tight as I like. And all the tension is taken up in this little titanium arm there. Hey Louis. Dropped his stick because I've got a cough now. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished work for the day, haven't we? Yeah, it's barbecue yeah. time. Yeah, it's and now pro barbecue pro time. Stick for dog time. Yeah. This is Louis, this is Gav's little dog. And I gave him a stick earlier and I've got dog slobber all over my bed. And he decided to throw up in the middle of my swim because he's got so much bark in his mouth. But in between all of that, we have barbecue on the go, and we've got this. <clears throat> I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous blogs. This is like manna from heaven, food of the gods. Red pesto aioli, so garlic and red pesto dip. Just spread it on everything. Absolutely amazing. Oh, and I've got a new cool box. Look at this. All my tea kit goes in the front. And all my gear goes in there. Thank you very much, Mr. Solar. Oh, ho, 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 ho. bun's done, look at that. That's the way to have your bun. Only the cheese and milk would be sorted. Well, I ain't had anything yet. And they're very late on parade. I've got this horrible feeling that they're not coming this morning. But Gav's had one, as always, because that's what Gav does. I decided Gav's my Jonah. Whenever he turns up, I don't catch, and he does. And here he is, look. Oh, lovely view of the crack of his ass. look. Perfect. Are you filming my bum crack? <laughs> I am filming your bum crack. Hello, little Louie. Hello, baby. Carp's got a bit of weight on him and all. Did you weigh him? I don't know. Yeah. I should just cut him out. I wasn't going to until I lifted him. <coughs> and just touch here. Yeah? Just touch the carp, mate. Oh, you look well with that bit of makeup, can you? Do I? That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be your fluffer. <laughs> no, actually, I won't. <laughs> no, I was going to say. How did you want then? Well, keep going. They're free. They're digital. Nice. 
Just still here waiting for my taxi. There he is now. There's a the taxi. <laughs> right. Well, that's that then. We're back at the boat launch, as are a few other people. Drop the cameraman, Scott off. He's just left. Um, gonna get the van down here, pack it all up, and do one. Very successful session. Four fish hooked, well five if you include me bream. Did I say about me bream? I don't think I did. I caught a bream, apparently it's the only bream in the lake. <laughs> He's well known. <laughs> but anyway, three landed to 41 pound. Happy bloody days. Thank you very much, Mr. Island Lake.